Well, it is getting harder and harder to find affordable housing in St. John's County, and now commissioners are considering redefining what affordable even means, possibly raising the maximum price of new homes by $30,000. Troy Kless is on your side in St. John's County, and Troy, this is all based on zoning rules to encourage builders to make homes for people with moderate incomes, right? Yeah, that's correct, Heather. And no matter where you look around St. John's County, it might look a lot like this with new homes being built and plenty more popping up along the way. Now, even in spite of that, one mom I spoke with says it was difficult for her to find the home that was the best fit for her and her family and workers that the county says fall under that moderate income group might surprise you. The housing market is hot in St. John's County. Kayla Pelliquin says she waited months before finding her new home. We got passed up so many times um, because people were putting in offers that were higher than what the list price was. She's in favor of the county discussing a change to the affordable housing cap. So if that gave you know more people opportunities to buy houses and there were more houses that were nice and um, you know like newer and in good condition, that I, I would be for that. Some county leaders say this could lay the foundation for developers to build more homes, but opponents speaking at today's meeting disagree. Developers should not be encouraged to use the WFH zoning district ordinance to benefit their bottom line while allegedly providing quality built homes. The county says that HUD breaks affordable housing into four different categories that you see right here. Now, according to them, people falling within the moderate income bracket from $58,000 to $87,000 include people like teachers and firefighters and other first responders. County commissioners say they want to balance building costs with giving deserving families a roof over their head. I've already had conversations with residents that they work here, they want to live here, they want to raise their kids here, but it's difficult to afford a place to live here. Those are the people I want to take care of and work towards. Now the county is asking staff to do research on cost of living and median housing price points. Another hearing will be held on the topic, but a date for that has not been set yet. Reporting live in St. Johns County, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.